Turkey and Iran have made significant headway in developing so-called drone carriers. In addition to this, both countries maintain they are capable of building aircraft carriers down the road. On April 10, the Turkish Navy commissioned its new flagship, the TCG Anadolu LHD-400 amphibious assault ship. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan attended the ceremony at the Sedef shipyard and lauded the new vessel. TCG Anadolu is the first unmanned combat aerial vehicle carrier in the world, he declared. Barakta TB3 Ukiv, Kizilelma unmanned fighter jet and her jet light attack aircraft will be able to take off and land on this ship. The Anadolu is a landing helicopter dock rather than a full-fledged aircraft carrier. Unlike the supercarriers of the United States Navy, the Anadolu can only support fighters with short takeoff and vertical landing STOVL capabilities, such as the F-35B variant. It is not only unlike the amphibious assault ships operated by the U.S. Marine Corps, which also carry F-35B. After the United States banned Turkey from buying any F-35s in 2019 for taking delivery of the S-400 air defense missile system it bought from Russia, Ankara decided to use the Anadolu as a drone carrier. Turkey subsequently developed a naval version of its well-known Barakta TB-2 drone. The Barakta TB-3 is bigger and has a heavier payload than its TB-2 predecessor. It also has folding wings, meaning it will take up less space on the ship's deck. A prototype was exhibited in public for the first time in late April. The Anadolu will undoubtedly have a unique air wing if Turkey fulfills its stated goal of operating both TB-3 drones and jet-powered unmanned Kizilelma fighters from its deck. Erdogan has talked about Turkey potentially building aircraft carriers for years. He previously expressed his hope that the Anadolu project would become the first step toward developing the most elite of aircraft carriers. Turkey isn't the only regional country producing drone carriers, its neighbor Iran also has some interesting projects in the works. In early May, Brig General Alariza Tingsiri, the commander of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corporation IRGC, Navy, said, Iran plans to build a unique aircraft carrier. One of our most important current plans is the construction of an aircraft carrier. This ship will be unique in the world, he said. The carrier we talk about will have significant capabilities. In addition to carrying aircraft, this ship will have a capability to carry a large number of missile launchers, which will make the ship unique. Iranian officials have publicly spoken about Tehran's plans to build aircraft carriers since at least 2014. In December 2016, Iranian media quoted Admiral Payman Jafari Tirani, Deputy Navy Commander for Coordination, saying, Building an aircraft carrier is among the goals pursued by the Navy, and we hope to attain this objective. The following December, 
Another Iranian official declared that Iran could build 200-meter-long warships or aircraft carriers if the government does the budgeting. Iran is presently modifying two merchant ships to carry aircraft for the IRGEC Navy, the Shahid Madavi and Shahid Bagheri. Speaking to Iran's national TV on February 23, Tingsiri explained, the Shahid Madavi would come equipped with four missiles with a range of 750 and 300 kilometers, and three helicopters can land and take off on its deck. The Shahid Bagheri, on the other hand, will serve as a drone carrier. According to Tingsiri, it will have a 180-meter runway. It will also carry 30 Ashura-class fast patrol boats. On May 1, independent defense analyst H.I. Sutton noted the addition of a ski ramp on the Shahid Bagheri as part of its unique flight deck layout. He further noted that the flight deck and ski jump are angled to the ship's starboard, a workaround to the superstructure, which is the full width of the ship. These modifications will enable drones to land, as well as take off, although it remains unclear what models the IRGC will ultimately use on the vessel. Turkish and Iranian officials often boast of their success in building indigenous warships. In his speech marking the Anadolu's commissioning, Erdogan claimed, 70% of the ship's components were made in Turkey. Tinksiri similarly hailed the IRGEC's success in building destroyers.